Carl had Carl mentioned. So here, Martin's here talking about, so give us some other ideas about six ways that a business owner can find success as they define who they are. Exactly. You want to possibly perform some research methods, and, and some of those methods consist of possibly doing surveys, uh, questionnaires, focus groups. Um, actually, there's a concept out there that I, I, I use, I've been using for years, Lean Startup, and the SBA has a blog on its website as it relates to Lean Startup. It's a methodology where you go out and you interview people and you talk about what you're trying to do, you're testing your idea, and you're trying, to, you're trying to realize if there's a problem or if there's a need not being met. Where is that gap? And what can you do to address it? Because, again, if you're not solving someone's problem or meeting their need, there's a low-value proposition. So Lean Startup is an excellent uh, concept to, to look at. You might want to do in-depth focus groups. So let's say, for example, you want to open up a restaurant, right? And you say, well, hey, I've been told my food is good. It's great. You know, it's to die for. But let me go out here and test it out there in the marketplace, in the public. So let me do maybe do some catering. Maybe have some sample food sampling sessions for people to tell me and give me some feedback. Because what you really trying to, um, I guess, find through that customer discovery is validating your assumptions. Oftentimes we go out and we don't have validated assumptions and we find ourselves in trouble, especially after we've invested some money. So what your folks are listening to, Martin Short, the time is 117. The program is on the mic with Mike. We are here with you Monday through Friday, uh, 1 to 2 p.m. Uh, and SB is here every Wednesday. So, Martin, you, so a person wants to do the focus group and they, and they try that and they're getting thumbs up and people are saying, this is great. Let's move forward. What's the step? the next step for a person to become a viable business or what steps does the SBA help with at that point? So if, if you've done the research and, and it tells you that your assumption is valid, okay, your next step is you need to develop a business plan. Sometimes many people skip that step of doing market research and they just go with the business plan. And that's not a good, that's not a, probably the most advisable uh, approach. You want to do the market research, and then once you validate your assumptions and you say, hey, this is a green light, we can get the train out of station, we can move it down the track, we can gain and win customers, then you want to develop that business plan. All folks, that is Martin Short. So we're here talking about defining who you are from a business perspective.